Alrighty, what is going on guys and welcome back. I'm excited for this one. The jumper's off. Look how big this box is. I mean I'm I've I mean I've got pretty big hands I guess, but this is a big box. Now, like I've said in the previous one, I'm recording this on the same day, like straight after the other one. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow, so I've treated myself. Now, I did manage to find a pretty good deal on eBay for this. And I am hoping... Oh, if I remember correctly, in this box here, there should be 60 PC games. So this is going to be a long one. So go and get a drink. Go and get some food. We're going to be here for a while. I might have to take some drink breaks because my throat might dry up. But yeah, some of these games we probably never heard of before, and some we might have. So we'll have to see. So first off, we've got Ard Ardennes Offensive, Ardennes Offensive Operation Rhine Watch. Looks like a World War Two game. Looks very old. German lines are mobilizing Rhine Watch. A deadly artillery barrage. The American soldier cow was taken by surprise on patrol. So it's like a one-man v all. We'll give it a go. Okay, so let me explain what I've seen. So there was a lot on here, and it was like 20 games for X amount. And I managed to get three of them. Like three of these, like, bundles. So some of them I bought because of some of the games in there. Some of these are going to be duplicates. Um, you're just going to have you know, you're just going to have to deal with that if you buy bundles. You know, I I'm, you know, I can trade mine in, so I have no problem with it. But some of these were really good. And I saw these looking for Rainbow Six games. And some of the games that were in the bundle as well, it was like, well, yeah, I might as well. You know, if I play them and don't like them, I'll trade them in. So that's fine. I can do that here in the UK. I can trade them into CEX, so it's not a problem. Blitzkrieg Burning Horizon. An official standalone... Campaign with 18 missions. So that looks like a command, like a strategy kind of game. Huh, I don't know, we'll try it. It will be good or shit. Okay. Like that, there. There's no way these work anymore. So, we have da -da -da, Fear Platinum Collection from CEX. £4. There's no way the codes for this still work, um, but I believe this is all the DLC. So Fear Extraction Point, Fear Perseus Mandate. We've got Fear three times now. I don't know if that is going to work. We shall try it. So, this one I'm quite looking forward to. Armour. Now it's Armour Gold. I don't know if there's a difference. Um, Armour Gold combines Smash Hit, Armour, Armed Assault and Expansion Pack. Okay, so it is Armour 1 with... Uh, DLC. So we all know what armor is. Very, very uh, hardcore, realistic, um, first person shooter. You know, armor's great. I've been loving armor. Um, and yeah, so I actually was looking at armor one um, and saw that that was part of the bundles. So I bought it. Now, this is one that doesn't look too interesting to me. Dangerous Wars. See, this doesn't appeal to me at all. It's like a submarine game. So that is probably one that's going straight to trade. The same with this one. Sub Command. I'm not going to spend any time. Boat games, don't care. Not interested. Get it out of here. Don't want it. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. So that's the first one. Uh, the first Advanced Warfighter. Um, not really much to say about it. Obviously did buy this for Xbox. Uh, manual and disc. That's great. Probably should have done that for most of these. But uh, yeah, I'm going to play through all of the Ghost Recon games. Apart from like the massive open worldy ones. Because I don't care. But they're not the best. Oh, this is a big one. Close Combat Modern Tactics. Modern Tactics. Challenge yourself with the latest close combat release. Close combat modern tactics. 
Training simulation. You take command of modern US forces. Players in combat up to five players per side. That's a big case as well. That's a very thick boy. We've got two games. I can't show you the disc because it's got a number on it. Yeah, that's a very thick boy. We'll try it. It'll be good or bad. We will see. See, some of these don't even look like games. That's how old they are. Between the lines. It looks like a movie, doesn't it? See, you get three completely independent new campaigns, which will keep players glued to their PC for hours. Between the Lines is about a doctor who, through adverse conditions, gets caught up in a guerrilla war. His peaceful life is rudely shattered. It'll be good or bad. It's probably terrible if you've never heard of it, but I can try it. This could be cool. Okay, I can't show you that. See, and I just have the hope that the keys work for these, because if the keys don't work, then it's all pretty fucking pointless. So, Vegas. New Rainbow Six Vegas. This is the first one. We do have Vegas on Xbox uh, 360. But now we've got it on PC, so I can try it with mods, which is great. Um, I'm going to hope and pray that my PC can run it. Whoa! What are you doing? Again, I'm hoping the keys work for this. I really am. Stalker Clear Skies. Um, I'll, I really want to play Stalkers. Um, I know they're old. We're obviously getting a new Stalker soon. I can't remember how many of them there are, stalker-wise, but I really would like to try it. Uh, there's lots of mods. Could be very interesting. Um, I'm not going to spend tons of time talking, because there's a lot of games in here we've got to get through. Oh, we've got two discs in this one. Okay. Cool. Frontline Fields of Thunder. Is there a Frontline game over there that we've seen? No. Between the lines. Oh. Well, that could be interesting anyway. Free copy of Hearts of Iron 2. Oh, so there's two games in that. That's quite cool. Experience the ultimate clash of titans in the greatest tank battle of all time. Oh. Yeah, well, that's a shame. So it's a tank game. I am suddenly not as interested. Ooh. Okay. Armour 2 Reinforcements from CEX. £8 this cost. That's great considering the price of the bundles were. That's pretty decent. I've nearly made back half. Uh, standalone expansion pack for Armour 2. So, British Armed Forces. <laughs> that could be cool. Um, are we going to get any codes? No, we're not. Look at that. That's a big chunky manual as well. Jesus, oh, it's a map. That's why. Okay, so we get a map, and a... that's the key, okay. So I'm getting the feeling that these keys aren't going to work for games like this, which is a problem, and it's a problem I'm beginning to have with PC, and I'm getting sick and tired of it already. Um, you buy a game, I want to play the game straight away, I don't want to have to buy the game, and then have to buy a separate key for it, and start to really, really fuck me up the wall. Line of Sight, Vietnam. It's why I'm like quite excited about the old ones that don't have keys in it. Because if it doesn't have a key in it, it means that I don't need one. Therefore, I can actually play the game I've just purchased. Can we fucking stop with this key shit, please? It's really, really annoying. So this looks like another pretty old style game. An elite marksman in Vietnam. We can try it. It'll be good or shit. Uh, we've got another armor gold. So that's what happens when you buy second hand, unfortunately. Um, sometimes you're going to get copies, but again, it's fine because they can be traded in. So it's all good. Project IGI. Tested by military. Okay. Maybe a game of strategy, sports, and we'll shoot them up. Sold out, bringing you the biggest game the lowest price around. Okay. Set in post-Soviet Russia in times of corruption and blackmail, you take the role of David Lewin Jones, an ex-SAS soldier who was sent in the Black Ops mission to capture a stolen US nuclear weapon. It'll be good or bad, we will try. Decisive Battles of World War II, Corson Pocket. That's not ideal, is it? Um... 
from CEX. Pound fifty. Okay. Corson pocket. Hearts of iron. Oh, that's a different thing. Um, this is not looking like something I would like to play. Um, to be honest with you, it looks like um, one of those kind of games that's very uh, top down. With thing. holy shit, what is this? Oh wow. Okay, interesting. Men of Valor in a very very thick case. Jesus. They fought for freedom. They fought for each other. Vietnam. So it's another Vietnam shooter, and it comes with. So I need to show you this. I need to block that out. So we've got two discs, the manual. We've got another disc and the receipts. So that's awesome. So I know exactly what I've got here. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, PC game. <laughs> Somebody bought the game, video blank tape, and Colgate triple action toothpaste. Nice. <laughs> Nice to know. <laughs> awesome. We'll try it. It'll be good or bad. That case has been destroyed. Tiny Troopers. Tiny Troopers put you in command of a team of small soldiers. Guide them through 30 deadly missions. I'll say no more. We'll keep it. We'll try it. Okay. This is interesting. Swap 4. Uh... Bog off. This is pre-owned. One ninety nine from Game Station. Don't have a key. It has a fucking key. Fuck's sake. But it does come with all the games, I suppose. That's probably a plus. Oh, that's annoying because that probably means it doesn't work. It's not about the badge. It's about the rush. I should carry on the legendary SWAT tradition, leading an elite squad of tactical experts. I really want to play it. Please let that key work. I'm going to be so fucking annoyed if it doesn't. Uh, hammer and sickle. Okay. The assignment of preventing World War 3 lies in your hands. Uh, the victors of World War 2 have occupied German sectors and the Cold War is inevitable. Slip into the role of a Soviet spy cleverly operating behind enemy lines. Okay. Okay, no a very Jesus, that's a big manual. Fuck me. And no key. Look at that, it doesn't say activation key. I shouldn't need a key. The disc should work. Okay. Counter Strike Source. We can try it. Is this online only? Also includes Half Life 2 Deathmatch. Day of Defeat. Okay. Yeah, so it's online only, so I'm probably never going to get to play it, but I'll keep it. There might be servers up, we'll see. Uh, Freedom Fires. Do we not have this already? Do we not have Freedom Fires? Obviously not. Where? I swear I've seen Freedom Fires somewhere. Frontline armor, line of sight. No, obviously not. Okay, well there's one we don't have then. Freedom Fires. There's a pound fifty. From the makers of Hitman. That could be interesting. In Manhattan's darkest hour, citizens cry out for a hero of the war torn city from evading forces, rise through the ranks of the resistance and recruit an army of freedom fires. Revolutionary recruiting command system lets you lead up to twelve freedom fighters into battle. Ten third person action in the streets. Fight the enemy with guerrilla tactics and weapons. Hmm. Interested. I'm very interested. Uh, we haven't got this one already. DEFCON. Global Thermonuclear War. Okay. Planning for survival. Simulation. Okay. Just reading the back of that. Not interested. Next. What do we got down the side here? We've got two down the side here. Okay. So we've got swap four again so is that two chances of a game yes so i'm going to keep that and leave it there that's two chances at a key that probably ain't going to work and 
Ghost Recon Desert slash Desert Siege slash Island Thunder. So these are some of like the original games. Even comes with the receipt. Look at that. Wow, the receipts are so old that it's faded. Staffordshire, nice. Somebody bought this and Nightmare Adventures, The Witch's Prison. Interesting. I love when my games come with a little like side story. That's awesome. So yeah, uh, I, I don't really know much about what Ghost Recons are what. I have played Ghost Recon back in the day, a very, very old one. Um, we'll try it. It'll be good or bad. Right. That's an activation key. I'm not fucking looking forward to this. Call of Duty United Offensive. I am looking forward to the game. I'm not looking forward to the key saying it doesn't work. So annoying. So, like I said, we are playing through, obviously, all of the CODs. We don't have United Offensive, I don't believe. I don't have the time to go and look without it taking up eight years. But, uh, yeah. Right, I need to try and move on a bit quicker than this, because we don't have much time. Right, quick break, and we are back. I don't remember what we were talking about when we got this. Delta Force, Task Force, Dagger. Another Delta Force game. Another first-person shooter. Play as a soldier from one of ten special forces units. Where's the other one? Delta Force. Delta Force. We definitely had one of these already. Oh, no, fine. I don't fucking know. Next. Oh, that's a thick boy. Jesus. Oh, there's two in here. Ooh. Supreme Commander. So I'm going to assume that's like a top-down. Yes, okay. Like a Command and Conquery style. Yeah. Warfare on an epic scale. Strategy on a galactic scale. Four pounds from CEX. Some people get stuff. So lucky, don't they? I need to make space. Jesus. <laughs> so many games. Sudden Strike Gold Edition. Sudden Strike Plus add-on. Uh, is that another, yeah, another commander game? All right, I'm not going to spend too much time talking. Okay, good. I, was gonna say, I didn't even feel like there was a game in there, though. Da, 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 da. Battle of Britain. Wings. Of, is that a plane game? Battle of Britain. Recreates to fit. Air battles. Not interested. Don't care. Operation Barbarossa. And there's a plane on the thing. Please, it's a plane game. Okay, next. Oh yeah, look at that. Operation Flashpoint. The original, not the uh not Red River or anything. How the fuck are you even getting it? Oh it slides off. Oh. Wow. Okay, so I don't know if these have been that's not a good sign, is it? I don't know if these have been burnt on. Do I now own a fake game? I do not. Apparently don't. I don't know what those ones are because there's three discs there. So fuck knows what that is. I'm looking forward to that. I've obviously played Dragon Rising and Red River. I've never played the original. So that should be interesting. We've got another between the lines. That's the same as the one back there. So that will be getting traded in. Tank Platoon. So tank game. We're not interested. We don't care for that. First to fight. Ooh, it's a first person shooter. Never turn your back on the enemy unless the man behind you is a marine. First marine on the front lines of urban combat in Beirut. Lead a four man fire team that executes authentic marine tactics. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I'm interested in that. Sturmgard. USA Ranger or German Trooper. This is a World War II first person game. 16 multiplayer solo or team play deathmatch. Okay, that might be online only. Kill switch. Take cover, aim, take cover. Uh, in a world on the brink of global climate, you find yourself back on the front lines of battle. Only this time you're here to you're not here to prevent the war, you're here to start one. Okay, interesting. Never heard of it before in my life. 
enemy territory quake wars. Did we not get that in the previous video? Quake wars. Uh, I don't know. We might already have that, but this is uh, obviously collector's edition, so we'll keep that because you never know. Da, da, da. Gore. It's a pretty decent title. Single player campaign and multiplayer modes. Uh, okay. I don't really know much about it. I think they had a receipt in it. But I've got to be quick. Frontline attack. It's like a commandy game. Cool. Don't really have much to say. Fair strike. That's like a that's a helicopter game. That's not interesting. Global operations. That was forty nine p. It's a first person shooter game. It probably puts you into present day hotspots such as Chechnya, Sri Lanka, and the South China Seas as a member of an elite military force. We'll try it. it might be terrible. F A eighteen Operation Desert. Helicopter game. Not interested. Battlefield Vietnam. That one could be interesting, but I'm pretty sure it's multiplayer only, if I remember correctly. Not sure. That may be multiplayer only. Oh my god, there's so many. So many. Let's go down like this. So, there's another plane game. Um, I don't care. Planes were boring. Another one of those dangerous waters games. Again, not interested. Don't care. Super Power. Super Power 2. Superpass is a global geopolitical simulation game. <laughs> nope. Bow, bow, bow. Hidden and Dangerous 2. Saber Squadron. Reprise your role as commander of the elite special air service. World War 2 as you take on the Axis powers in nine new missions. Interesting. Soldier of Anarchy. Place tactical courage and lead them through. You have some of the most powerful weapons. Uh, maybe another shell shock arm, which we got in the previous video, so that'll be getting traded in. Ooh, Silent Storm Gold Edition. Oh, sorry, Silent Storm is a round based strategy game with RPG elements and an enthralling storyline. Okay, Red Faction 2. This one's quite cool. I remember playing Red, Fra Red Faction 1 on, on the PS... Wow, that's lots of paperwork. Jesus. Uh, on the PlayStation 2. Uh, we do have Red Fra Red Fact. Fuck, why is that so hard to say? Red Faction 2 on the um, PS4. Frontline Attack. Pretty sure we've already got this. I have already seen this, I'm sure. I... I'm beginning to lose my mind. Frontline Fields of Thunder. Frontline Attack. Maybe not. What? Front, okay. We'll keep it for now. Then. Another Battlefield Vietnam. Although this one feels a lot heavier than this one. Or maybe not. Well, there's two there. Strategic Command at European Theatre. A game so old that the sticker has faded. Oh no. Uh, we've had to swap cameras, but we're back quick. I've only got a few more games. You know, I'm on my S21 now, not my Ultra. But just to put into perspective how much we've got here, I'm on an ultra wide lens. We don't have any more to go. So we've got Strategic Command. Um, doesn't look like my kind of game, I'll be honest with you. Looking at the back of this. So that's getting traded in. Sudden Strike 2. Pretty sure I've just seen this. Real time strategy. Could be good, I don't know. Another global operations, which is down here. 
So we've got two of them. So the key might work, it might not. Stealth Force 2 has potential. Dramatic tale of four soldiers bound together by war. I know it could be good, it could be bad. Um, we'll give it a go. And another one of those plain games, which is, yeah. Say no more. So, that is it. What a haul. Jesus Christ. That is so many games. So, if I didn't already have enough time to play, I have even less time now. <laughs> Jesus. So, there we go. I'm now going to go and see if these keys work, which they fucking bear. Because if these keys don't work, I'm going to be so pissed off. But, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Links to all my social media is in the description down below. Leave a comment if you'd like to see any of these first. I'm really looking forward to SWAT. Really, really looking forward to SWAT. Um, and Flashpoint. And Fear. But uh, yeah, it has been your boy. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one.